There are costumes, sets, and props from the show on exhibit here. There is even a set that hasn't been used yet. You'll see this pop art cafe pop up in an episode that's supposed to air in a couple of weeks. In fact, the whole museum has been transformed into a mini Miami Vice soundstage. There's a new wave pink jail cell that will be used in a future episode. There are neon signs, fake guns and explosives, even a Neo Deco telephone booth that was built just for the show. And you probably recognize this set. It's the sleazy motel room, dressed up for a drug deal, complete with surveillance equipment. There's even a giant memorabilia board where you'll see everything from scripts to behind-the-scenes doodles to make you feel like you're really part of the Miami Vice team. scene and the show's look are created in part by art director Jeffrey Howard and set director Bob Lacey. They helped to set up this museum exhibit and every week they face the challenge of finding a new twist on reality to give the show its hip look. What we do is we take the ordinary and we change it around to make it different. In other words, we would never shoot an ordinary salt shaker on Miami Vice on a table. We wouldn't use an ordinary plate we go out and we look for what the state-of-the-art, the, the high-tech, the uh, deco look is. We use a lot of practical locations, but we do the restaurants, we do the cafes on stage, the ones that we can make that little touch, because those little things, those special little things, are what give us that Miami Vice look. In Miami, I'm Robin Carter for CBS.